Well, someone let the cat out of the bag. I mean, the the helium out of the balloon. Wrong topic. No, but seriously, it's one thing after another. This is how it happened with Three Arrows Capital. This is how it happened with Celsius. It, it happened. It's just you uncover one thing and then all of a sudden, a lot of things come to light. And that's what's happening right now with the Helium Network. Personally, I've been a supporter and a critic of the network for going a year and a half now or so because there's been an opportunity to make money with it. But then also there's a lot of shady things that have happened with the network that you have to call out on. And that's almost with anything. Typically, anything that you enjoy doing, you're going to talk about the negatives and the positives of that. But you're if you're personally invested into it, you want to see more positives than negatives. Well, and the problem is that helium is digging itself into a hole. And while most of us have the mentality of I'm tired of this, grandpa and helium responding, well, that's too bad. I'm going to keep on digging. That is the problem. Helium is currently digging its own grave. And most of us miners will only be able to attend the funeral because as one, the issue of them hiding data credits and hiding the fact that they're only generating $6,500 a month in revenue on top of them now hiding and removing Salesforce and Lime uh, logos from their website because of a cease and desist letter from Lime, it only continues to be a snowball effect. And I would not want to be at the end of that snowball. With that said, smash up the like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. As you know, this is huge. you ever play the game spot the difference i don't know if that's the actual name of the game but it's typically just to it has two pictures side by side and some are easy some are really difficult trust me on a scale of one to ten easy being one ten being difficult this is a one spot the difference between these two pictures helium is used by and helium is used by it looks like there's two things missing and in fact if that was your answer you're correct salesforce and lime are now missing from missing from the helium website now the problem isn't that they mentioned that helium is a partner of because sure you could partner with someone and not actively utilize their network um you can have partners and in, in all the time but that there's a difference when you consider a partner versus someone who actually utilizes your network for their benefit that is the problem because helium here is portraying that they their network is being used by Salesforce and their network is being used by Lime scooters. Now, this is just only one half of the issue, because if most of us are going to be honest, 95 percent of all of these companies, we have no idea of what this company is. I have no idea what Mimia is, what Careband is, what Conserve is, what my devices are, what One Planet is, what Nowi is, what Early is. No one has any idea of what some of these companies are, but you mentioned Salesforce and you mentioned Lime, and that gives credibility to an incredible, non credible, I think is the right term, non credible and a lying company to the likes of Helium, a protocol that most of us, when we saw, oh wow, you know, Helium is used by Salesforce, that's great. Helium is used by Lime. That's fantastic. Lime scooters are everywhere. Bird scooters are everywhere. Everyone's using uh, electric scooters. This is a big thing. And of all networks, a, a Web3, a, a crypto blockchain based network is being utilized by these massive companies. That's awesome. And therefore gives me an, a, a reason to possibly trust them. And, and that is where the issue lies is in order to gain tr customer trust, they lie to the customer and this has all come about since Friday. Now, the problem is that this isn't the first time Helium's tried to hide something. They used to show how many data credits are, sp are spent on their network. Now, after people were finding out that they're only generating $6,500 a month in revenue, well, data credits are now gone. Whether that's a big deal for you or not, uh, obviously different people have different opinions. But the problem is, that there was an article that came out, Lime and Salesforce logos disappearing from Helium's website. Now, the status of Helium's partnership with Lime was seriously in doubt after Russell Murphy, Lime's senior director of communications, told Mashable B 
beyond an initial test of its product in 2019, Lime has not had and does not currently have a partnership with Helium. It doesn't even mention that they ever used their the Helium network at all. They just tested the product. Doesn't mean that they actually utilized it for a significant amount of time. It's like me going to the store and testing a computer be like, ah, no, you know, I'm not, I don't want it. And then I move on to another computer. Doesn't ever mean that I bought the computer and actually used it for a significant amount of time and like returned it. This is showcasing that they tested the product and does not have any significant partnership with Helium. So it's not like they, they don't want to even be associated with them. That is to the extent that this partnership was so, so made up. Now, according to Nova Labs, Helium's parent company, their response to this is, well, we simply had grown apart since the product test in 2019. Lime's restructured some people, new team members no longer employed there. So there's your answer. It's not even answering the question as to why would you fake a partnership for three years? For three years, you're faking a partnership in order to gain customer trust to buy in of your product for a network that they're not even supporting with Lime scooters or Salesforce. Now, we didn't know anything about Salesforce since this article was posted on Friday and there was no response, but now we do have a response. Salesforce within this article says, uh, denied similarly to the likes of Lime. Commenting on the company logo being placed next to Lime appearing on the website, Salesforce spokeswoman mentioned that Helium is not a Salesforce partner and regarded the graphic on the website showing the Salesforce logo as inaccurate. After the mentioned facts were widely spread up to the time of this writing, the official website has removed both Salesforce and Lime logos, but obviously not only is blockchain transparent, websites are pretty transparent as well when you have Wayback Machine. So there's no covering this up. This is all very, very public. Now, the problem is that in this for this has been going on for a long, a long time. In May of 2021, uh, Helium tweeted this out, mentioning how trusted the platform is used by Lime and Salesforce on its customers list, but omitted the tagging directly to Lime's Twitter account and only tagged Salesforce. So they, they didn't want Lime to figure out that they're trying to put them on a list of companies that use their network because imagine being called out by a, a very popular brand. Lime was very popular in a lot of cities uh, and electric scooters were a very popular thing. Imagine during a massive the start of a bull run within the crypto market in May of 2021 when everyone was looking at Helium, it was gaining a lot of popularity because the profitability from mining the Helium token was, was huge and you put a whole damper on this when the company you mentioned, one of the only companies people could relate to on your website mentions, we have no partnership. We don't use Helium's network. We haven't used it for two years. This is a fake partnership. Imagine like that. That would just that would, that's like putting dirt on a on a hot fire, just puts it out completely. And, and that's something like, I, I don't know what this is going to resolve into. It may not. Nothing may ever even come out of this. But this is directly misleading investors, and and this there's a lot that could possibly come out of this when it comes to legal issues for Helium. Uh, in fact, I'm I'm pretty sure that uh, Lime is sending a cease and desist letter, or was preparing a cease and desist letter for Helium because of this situation. And as uh, CoinQ reported, Helium was recently accused of being shady business. Not after the event, yesterday the project was said to intentionally take advantage of partnerships for the purpose to attract investors. Now, what's interesting is this has been going on for a long time and it's been going on with other companies. Now, this was an article by Forbes where it mentions that investors are hoping their patience pays off after Hotspot's launch. Partners like Line, Invisileash, Agilus, and Nestle are already on board as customers. It's just a blatant lie at this point. You've got Lime here, and no one's really talked about Nestle, which I think may come out to be, uh, we may find out more down the road. But Halim cites Nestle's ready, fresh, ready refresh delivery service, which refills office water coolers, as another example of a seemingly mundane business that could benefit from the hotspot mentioning later on that it will ultimately save them tens of millions of dollars a year. 
What company doesn't want to save tens of millions of dollars per year? Name a company. You can't. Then the problem is Nestle wasn't even a, a partner uh, of the Helium network, even on their erase list and their updated list of partners. It's not even up there. Let's go back over here. So this is their current partner list. Nestle's not even on there. Why wouldn't a brand that could possibly a, a massive brand? Nestle's a big company. Why wouldn't Nestle want to save tens of million dollars a year by using the Helium network? Why? Obviously, there may just be more to the story, but this was continued even more so by Frank Mong, who's a chief operating officer. So if you think it's just the CEO that's involved in falsifying partnerships and lying to the people's, the people in the people's network, it's also the chief operating officer. He mentioned that the Helium's network with Nestle Ready Fresh, which monitors offers fridge, as an example of an early success story of Helium. This article talks about uh, some of the details behind uh, some of their partnerships in the early days, which is obviously how many of those partners are actually true and how many of these were just completely faked. And uh, this also being shared, this is by Frank Mong on a Helium blog post where he mentioned specifically, we are very fortunate to work with partners such as Invisileash, Lime, Agulus, and many more. And, and so, you know, if you're going to lie about one partnership, you know, why not lie about all the rest of your partnerships as well? So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what else comes out of this this whole ordeal that's happening with Helium. You know, if if I had any slight hope for the Helium network moving forward over the next couple of months, especially with 5G rolling out, who knows what what kind of fake partnerships are they talking about with 5G? I don't know. Um, this is definitely. um you know, another stab in the back for a lot of people who have minors, um, for those hold, holding out hope, you know, personally for me, I'm, I'm, I've sold all my H and T as soon as I mine H and T tokens, I sell it. Uh, just because I, I literally have little to no hope left within the, the future of the protocol when it's being built by it's built on lies, literally built on lies. The only reason this protocol has been successful is because of lies. So when you have that, you can't really trust anything else that happens. That's at least my perspective. That's my opinion. That's where we are right now. And the proof is in the pudding. Smash up the like, subscribe if you're already. As you know, this is huge.